Hey all, welcome to Shatrick. This is Raj here. And today's topic is going to be uh, Tessera Therapeutics. It's a new uh, startup company which has emerged out of stealth somewhere around 2020. And it's uh, starting to make waves in the news media. Uh, its proposition is to uh, write and rewrite uh, small, medium, and large chunks of uh, DNA. And they claim to have a revolutionary new uh, technology in hand. Uh, I have done a little bit of research on this company and I'm presenting my findings today. And we'll have more videos on Tessera Therapeutics as more information starts emerging. So let's get started. Welcome back, friends. Tessera Therapeutics came to our attention when Anne Virginie Egiman left Bluebird to join Tessera. We also found that Tessera had snagged former AbbVie Vice Chair Michael Severneo as its new CEO. At the same time, they also announced former Eli Lilly CFO and CVS Health Executive Erika Rice has joined the Biotex board. Uh, Erika Rice is uh, familiar with the post because he has been with companies like Bristol Myers Squibb, Target, Disney, and the Carlyle Group in a similar capacity. Tessera was founded in 2018 and aims to write short and long uh, read uh, sequence into genome without making any double stand breaks. Friends, as you know, in the last uh, so many months that we have been uh, looking at genomic companies and their achievements, uh, we learned that double strand breaks have around uh, 10 to 15 percent chances of having uh, problems. And uh, whenever I hear uh, any therapy that uh, works on genes without having a double strand break, uh, I, I think um, uh, it's, uh, it's really good and positive. Uh, that's how I'm looking at this new technology. Uh, investors in Tessera include Alaska Permanent Fund Corporation, and Abu Dhabi Investment Authority. I'll talk more about that uh, further in the video. The founders of uh, this company are Jeffrey Vaughan, Marzan, Jacob Rubens, and flagship co-founder Nobar Afian. The company remained in stealth until 2020. Its first round of funding raised around 230 million. Tesla recently raised its C series of funding and has so far raised a total of around 500 million in the last 15 months. The two initial areas of focus uh, for this company where some commitments that have been ma made in cystic fibrosis and uh, ailments related to the liver. The company has signed an R&D pact with Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. That's what makes me uh, think that cystic fibrosis would be one of its first uh, uh, focus areas. The gene writing concept is depending on mobile genetic elements, uh, short form MGE, which are segments of DNA that code for enzymes and proteins that help move DNA around within genome. There are three scales of writing or rewriting that is visualized by Tessera. The first one is RNA gene writers that can make uh, short, quick edits, whether insertions or deletions. The second category is the larger RNA templates that can grab onto a genome and write RNA into a full length gene. And the third category is DNA gene writers that can be pasted into specific locations within a genome. The approach seems to be to, uh, able to totally bypass CRISPR-Cas9 combination uh, uh, or CRISPR-Cas combinations or base editing and seems to be a totally different approach. Now let us take a quick look at the Tessera website to see if we can get any further information out there about this new approach. I already had a quick look, uh, but just want to show you uh, that there isn't much information available about how exactly this uh, uh, system seems to work. But let's go to the website now. Now here we are in the uh, Tessera website, and um, uh, it, it talks about uh, gene writing very briefly uh, at a very high level. I think uh, potentially in the next um, month or so, we should see more information coming out in the website as well as in press releases and maybe some scientific papers. Uh, it says our gene writing technology advances the genetic medicine beyond its current limitations. And uh, nature has evolved a better way to alter genes and by harnessing this biology, uh, we can uh, write and uh, rewrite DNA into the genome. So it's uh, pretty cryptic out here. Now, if I go into the gene writing uh, section uh, and uh, go down further, it says we use RNA-based uh, gene writing technology to write into uh, or rewrite the genome based upon an RNA template. RNA writers can change base pairs, make small in insertions and deletions, and integrate entire genes into genome. Gene writer proteins bind to an RNA template and locate a target site on the genome. 
the gene writer protein nicks the target site, releasing a flap of DNA, which the RNA template anneals to. This primes reverse transcription of the RNA template by the gene writer protein. The newly synthesized DNA is integrated into the genome, resulting in a rewritten section of the genome. Of course, uh, the videos are going to be brief because they just want to give us an idea at a high level. Uh, there would be trade secrets and other things, but uh, over a period of time, I think we are going to hear from various uh, scientific writers and others uh, more detailed explanation and we'll understand this much better. Now let's look at the DNA-based uh, uh, gene, uh, gene writing video. I'm going to just restart this. Gene writer proteins bind to a DNA template and identify target sites on the genome. The gene writer proteins write the DNA template into the genome. This results in a new piece of DNA inserted into the genome. That was about uh, the DNA-based gene editing. As I mentioned earlier, uh, all the explanations are very brief and uh, being a generalist and not a scientist, uh, I find it a bit difficult to understand. Uh, and uh, I think over a period of time, we'll have more information uh, about this uh, company and its technology. We have already seen uh, CRISPR-Cas9 systems uh, develop and evolve into more refined methods such as base editing. However, it took quite a while for the first therapy to be approved. So Tessera has a long way to go before, uh, because not much has been published about MG and their ability to write DNA. Uh, it's a novel concept in my opinion. We need to observe this space going forward. Uh, right now it looks like science fiction, but if this succeeds, then we may potentially have uh, find that the current crop of genomic companies will uh, find it very difficult to operate with their technology based on CRISPR-Cas9 and uh, base editing. Uh, those of our viewers who are uh, uh, from a science background and are familiar with uh, genomics and all are requested to comment uh, and help our community understand a little more uh, about what this uh, uh, DNA rewriting technology is all about. The proposition here seems to be fantastic, yet I have not seen much academic buzz around this approach. So I'm going to continue looking at more resources to understand what exactly is gene writing and rewriting and how it differs from CRISPR-Cas9 based uh, editing or base editing. However, when I look at the uh, team, the management team uh, that uh, the company has attracted, uh, it makes me feel that we, ha we are onto something out here. Uh, only time will tell. So let's watch this space going forward. Uh, look forward to bringing you more uh, videos on Tessera uh, going forward as more information becomes available. I'm particularly interested on scientific papers from some uh, external body um, uh, validating uh, this concept uh, so that I can be more confident in uh, bringing that information to you. So with that said, my friends, uh, I would like to bring this video to an end. I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked the video, please press a like out there. It helps uh, YouTube promote our channel to other viewers who are looking for topics like this. And if you're viewing this video and not yet subscribed, please subscribe and help us grow this channel. The subscription is absolutely free and it will motivate us to bring you more uh, genomics-based uh, content and also thought-provoking videos. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.